Okay, so if you go and check my last video, you will see why I'm doing what I'm actually doing. I'll tell you a little bit about it. I won't get too far into it, but I had got some unwanted visitors this morning in my car. A spider and a roach. So I promised myself that I was never going to live another night in my car when my windows rolled down. So I looked on YouTube and I kind of um, saw a lot of people trying these different methods of staying cool in the summertime while living in the car and this is one of the things that i saw and to explain this uh <laughs> and to give you the short the short version i have a I have my ice chest i went and bought some ice and i got my fan now what's supposed to happen is the coolness from the ice at the back of the fan is supposed to come through the back and blow out the front. Now, to be honest with you, I know a lot of people are probably going to say, oh, you're just saying this because of that, but it is actually blowing cool air. It really is. Like, the air is really cool. I'm not, I'm not going to even lie to you. Now, could I have had, like, let me get some of this ice. A bigger um, ice chest, yes. Two fans would have been better. A bigger fan would, would have probably been even better. But I'm not complaining because I don't have to roll my windows down and I'm getting a little bit of cool air. I'm not going to even lie to you. And as a matter of fact, that is actually on the lowest level. I actually got my fan blown on the lowest level ever. So let me show you. That's the lowest level. If I press it again, I don't know if you can hear it. That's the medium. Oh no, I had it on medium. That's the lowest level. Medium <clears throat> and the highest level. Now, the way the air is really circulating and blowing. I don't I don't need it on the highest level. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just stop it and then put it on the lowest level. I don't I don't know if you can see that little blue light right there. That means that it's fully charged. And right now it's like like right, ten o'clock at night. So to me that means that this cool air is going to be blowing until maybe about five o'clock in the morning, which is perfect. And this ice isn't going to melt anytime soon. If you look at it, look, the ice is pretty, it's pretty hard right now. So now that I see how it's going to go, I'm going to just kind of monitor it and see what happens tomorrow when I wake up. And that's going to let me know if I need to buy um, another fan. So if I need to buy another one of these and like attach it to another spot like up here somewhere, then I would. But like right now, as far as like my setup right now, I like it. It like it, it is really and I'm people probably saying, what the hell, you just saying that because you want it to work. It is really blowing. A, like cool enough air that I'm not I, like I have had my car turned off for like 15 minutes now normally in the type of weather that we in right now in Georgia like right now like it's, I'm not gonna say this the middle of the summer but in June well today um the high is or was or is I'm gonna say is um in the 90s and I have a and I haven't broken the sweat yet, as you can. Well, I'm just showing you my hand, but I haven't broken the sweat since I had my car turned off. My windows are fully rolled up, and my fan is going. And I got my ice in my in my uh, ice chest, my cooler. I took the top off, as you can see, and um, so far so good. <clears throat> 
I'm not gonna count my eggs before they hatch, but like for right now, one of the eggs has hatched. And that's just what I did. Like I say, like the legs on this fan, they're like flexible. So you can kind of wrap them around stuff. They're not, they don't just stand straight up. Like you can wrap them around stuff. As you can see, I wrapped them around the handle of the ice chest and kind of put the put the fan at an angle to where it's blowing up, you know, on me and my face and stuff. And I have to say that this fan and this method is really doing this job. <clears throat> I'm, I'm not going to even lie. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm not. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie and say that this method is doing this job if it, if it, if it isn't. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't even lie. But so far, so good. I like the cool air that is blowing in on me. And like I say, I only have the fan on the lowest level. So I still have the option to turn it up to medium or turn it up to high if I choose to. But I think I'm going to just leave it on low to kind of um, reserve the pop. Sorry, sorry about that. I had to delete some videos. Um, so it wouldn't um, take up most of the uh, most of the power, the battery, I guess you can say. Because I wanted to kind of last throughout the rest of the night. But um, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of I like my little setup. I'm laid back. This is where I'm at. Like from the phone, like like this is the angle. It's blowing up, and I like it. And I have I haven't broken a sweat since i rolled up my windows and got everything going i just got like a a, a dollar a dollar 35 a dollar and 35 cent bag of ice out of the store put it in my ice chest and um yeah you know it's doing it's, it's doing the job it's getting the job done i'm not gonna lie so if everything holds like I needed to throughout the night. I think I may go and buy another fan and maybe get like a nice chest that's like a, a little bit bigger than the one I have. I may I may even use this one, but with two fans, it may do even more justice than what it than what it's doing right now. So I'm satisfied with that. And I don't have my windows cracked, so I don't. I'm not gonna get any visits from, <laughs> like I said, from roaches or damn spiders or nothing. And this has really given me more um, comfort. Like I feel more comfortable knowing that I can sleep in peace now. I don't have to worry about rolling my windows down and expecting some unwanted guest you know what i'm saying and when you're living on the road you need as much peace as you can get i'm not gonna even lie and i'm sorry for just giving y'all the um the uh vision the picture of my 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 uh my water cooler and the fan blowing but i just wanted to speak on it for a minute but yeah it it gives me a sense of peace and like i say when you're living on the road you need as much peace as you can possibly get so if you can do little things like this that can bring you peace hey do it i'm all for it and that's the reason why i wanted to try it like i was like i was determined i wasn't going to let this night go by without me trying this method you know by any means like i was it's like Either it was or it wasn't. That's it. But I had to find out because I really wanted to educate somebody on this. Somebody that's thinking about living in their car or somebody that is living in their car. You know? Everything that I do, I always do with the thought of me educating somebody. Me making the process a little bit easier for somebody that doesn't mind learning from the next person or the person that came before them because you know what they say you know a dumb person 
learns from their own mistakes. A wise man learns from others' mistakes. So the mistake I made was, and you can and you can see it in, in my last video. If you go and look at my last video, you'll see the mistake that I made. And I'm, I, I wouldn't really call it a mistake, but it, it was because it was something that I didn't know. I didn't really understand that part of, you know, living in my car. This is my, this is my first time actually doing this. So, um, if you go and look at the last video, you will actually see <laughs> what I did that now has me using the roller windows up, put the ice in your water cooler, get your fan method, <clears throat> you know? And that's fine, I have no problem with that because life is a journey. Life is about learning and understanding and growing you know, so I don't mind making mistakes. Making, make, to me, making mistakes is a good thing because if you don't make a mistake, how are you gonna learn? Like, you know what I'm saying? If you, if you, some I forgot who that was told me that. They say if you're not making, oh, this guy that I used to work with, he said if you're not making mistakes, that that means you're not working. You you're not doing anything. And I always took that with me. He said, if you're not making mistakes, that means you're not trying, you're not doing anything, you're not working, you're not moving forward. So now when I make mistakes, I look at it as a good thing. I, I look at it as um, an opportunity to learn and move forward and grow in life. So yeah, I, I pretty much embrace mistakes now. <laughs> I embrace it. So now, that I've made the mistake that I made yesterday and I'm correcting it and I'm fixing it, I'm gonna grow from this, you know? And, I'm, and my mind is gonna elevate. I'm gonna be on to something bigger and better. This is gonna be one of those things that I'm gonna be able to put behind me because I made the mistake, I made the adjustments, I look for the solution, I apply the solution, it's working, so now it's time for me to move on to something else. So the next person coming behind me, they can learn from this. If, if, only if, that person is keeping an open mind and, 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 and always making themselves available to be a student of life. That's the only way you can grow. You have, you, you have to constantly keep your mind open to learn. Like, you have to forever be a student of life if you're going to continue to grow. Like, some people only grow in age, but mentally, <laughs> they stay on a certain level. Some people get to a certain level, and then they, they, they feel like they know everything, so they stop learning, and they stop understanding life. And that's why you see a lot of bitter people, because they think they know everything, they, they think they know everything, and they're fighting against, like, the understanding of life. Like, life is something that you will never understand. I believe until the day you die, you're going to leave this world um, as a student, trying to understand why this and why that. I don't think no one is going to ever 100% learn and figure out life. So with that being said, I'm not going to hold you. I'm not going to ramble. Um, it's like 10.30, maybe 11 o'clock. I need to get to bed, get some rest. Um, I just wanted to share that with y'all. So, like I said, even though I'm just giving you a, <laughs> like, like the vision of my ice chest, don't, you know, don't, don't, don't stone me to that. But I hope you really listen to the words that I that I spoke out of my mouth, and I hope it helps somebody. Like I said, if it just helped one person, if I get one like, one subscriber from this video, then I I did my job, and I'm fine with that. I'm okay with that. So with that being said, I ain't gonna hold y'all. Y'all have a good night. Try and keep your your space as comfortable as possible. Do everything within your means to make sure your situation that you're living in is safe, 
and livable. Because when the summertime come, we have to figure out ways to get through the summer. And when the winter time come, we're gonna have to figure out ways to get through the winter. You know? Two of the two of the worst seasons to live in your car. So um I'm gonna continue to upload videos <clears throat> and try to educate somebody coming behind me or somebody that's even living on the road right now. I'm gonna continue to give my point of view on things and I hope people see it <clears throat> the way I'm giving it, excuse me. I hope people see it as an educational tool to learn while living this life, while living on the road because we all know this is this is not an easy life to live. We all know that. We all know this is like um I don't I don't want to ramble, but we know what this life is. We know what it consists of. So um y'all just be cool. Until next time, I holler back at y'all. <laughs> y'all be cool. Sleep in peace. Rest your mind. Shut down. And uh to everybody on YouTube that uses this method, rather you use it this way or a different way, a, a different way, I'm sorry. I just want to say thank you for leading the way, for trying something new and innovating a method that someone like me can use that's coming behind you living this life. I just want to I, I just want to end this night by giving gratitude to whoever thought about this method. Whoever made a video that I may have watched that uses this method, I just want to say thank you. I want to end my I want to end this video tonight by giving gratitude. Gratitude.